Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how you can format your document and in that I'm going to be covering fonts, margins, line spacing and text alignment. So first thing I need to say is that when you're making any adjustments in Word you can either select the whole document and all you need to do is just make sure your cursor is in your text press command or control A that will select your whole document or you can just simply select an area of your document so I can just select one paragraph if I want to or one page and make my changes to that element. So in terms of the fonts, what I can do, I'm just gonna select this whole page and I'm going to go to this section here and this is where you can adjust all of your fonts. So the first thing is the actual font itself. Now you'll have a default setting and you can then go down and select any one of your choice. Let's change this to Heli Vector. You've got lots of different options if you've got an arrow here and it can, you can make selections from light to italics, regular, bold, etc. So I'm just going to click on Helivector itself and that will change my font. Now when you do change your fonts, it can change the size of your font as well and it may adjust the amount of pages that you have or it will knock information from the first page onto the second page. But to change your font sizes, you can do several things. You can go to this icon here and click on the drop down and just simply make a selection. So let's go to 20. There you can make that selection or you can simply type in your selection. So let's say we want to go down to 10. Or if you're not quite sure, you can use this increase font size or decrease font size tools here. And all you need to do is just keep clicking and that will take you through the different font sizes and you'll get to a size where you think that's okay and if you're not quite sure you can go back one if you want to. You can also use this tool to change the style of your font so you can have a sentence case which is what we've obviously currently got. We can change everything to lowercase or uppercase or we can capitalize each word or let's say for example you've done this where you've hit the wrong key for your caps lock and it's ended up looking like this, you can just toggle between the two and change that mistake. You can obviously go down to bold here and you've got italics, you've got your underline and here you can put a line through your text, strike through and then you've got a subscript and a superscript. Here you can completely change your text effects but that's more for if you want to do a title or a heading you can also put a color around your text. So let's select yellow. You can see what effect that has. You have to select everything again to change the color back. And then of course you've got here your font color. So let's select this paragraph and then you can select from any of these. Let's turn it to red and you can change your font color. Okay, so that's all the basics with fonts. Let's move on to alignment. So you've currently got all of your text aligned to the left and that's dictated to by these icons here. We're still on the home tab, so we're currently left aligned. You can center your text using this middle one, right alignment and justify. Justify makes everything look like it's in a box. So it will stretch out the gaps between your words to make sure that there's a perfect line down the right hand side as well. Now, if you only want to align a certain amount of text, again, we can select this text here and we can just center align it if we want to, or we can right align it and it will just choose that selection. If you want columns, let's just say we want the whole of this text to be in columns. You can go to layout, go to columns, click on the drop down, and you can select the amount of columns that you want and Word will divide it up for you. And then you can make the same adjustments again, going to the Home tab. You can centre align, right align or justify. If you don't like the columns, simply go back to Layout, go to Columns and select One. Now we're going to move on to line spacing. And for some people, the lines that you have here are quite close together. So the easiest way to do it, let's just select all the text again, is go to the Home tab go to this icon here, click on the drop down, and you can simply click through these options to space out your lines. Now, alternatively, if you want them closer together, because some people want to reduce the gaps between their text, then you can go down to line spacing options. 
Now this gives you lots of different options, but if you go down to line spacing, a little preview down here, you can go down to exactly. So at 12, if we click OK, we can see it's squashed to probably the maximum it can be squashed to. But it does enable you that if you just need to get a little bit more text onto one page, this is a really good way in which you can do that. But it does make it a little bit more difficult to read. But you can also go to that menu and space things out exactly where you want them. So anything above 12, let's say we go to 20, press enter, you can see exactly what happens. So that just gives you a little bit more flexibility. So let's just go back to one. And now I'll talk to you about margins. So currently, if we go to layout and we go over here to margins, click on the drop down, and we're currently set to normal. Gives you a couple of different options here. You can go to narrow if you want to get lots and lots of information and text on the page. You can go to moderate, wide, or mirrored if you've split your page in half. Now, if I select this now, you'll see that nothing happens other than my rulers have moved. And I'll show you how to access the rulers shortly. So if you want to apply it to the text that's already in the document, select all of the document, Command or Control A, then go to Margins, then go to narrow, and now it will affect the text that you have selected. Now, if you want to be able to see these rulers, because you can actually change your margins with the rulers, if you can't see them, go to view, and then go to this icon here that says ruler and make sure it's checked. Now, what this does enable you to do, if you hover your cursor between the gray and the white section, there will be an arrow that appears. You can just see it now. You can actually move your margins with that arrow works especially well if you need to get a few extra things onto your page and you can just adjust those margins so that you've got more room on the actual page itself. So that's another way that you can move your margins. If you want to be really precise about it, you can go to layout, go down to custom margins, and then you have this full array of options where you can choose exactly how big your margins are and just simply press OK and you'll get a little preview over here. So if you wanted to make sure the top and the bottom were identical, you'd simply go to this one or the other one and just put 75.75, press enter. It may tell you that the margins are so small that your printer may not be able to print it, but if you're happy with that, you can either ignore it or you can fix it and Word will fix that for you. So I'm just gonna select all of my text and go back to normal. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.